Hey guys, Spider Games here. I'm gonna show you the brand new pump action shotgun in Fallout 76, and I'm also gonna show you where to farm for unlimited modifications for this weapon, so stick around. First off, when you're level five and up, you can get the pump action shotgun early off, as long as you find some Scorch, and you can find them just east of where you're doing the main mission when you first come to that town, and that medical station or whatever, but here's where I picked up that pump action shotgun on the map. But you want to go southeast, way down here, to a location called Big Ben Tunnel East. Now, you find all sorts of good loot here, including, you know, new codes, high-level weapons, three power armor suits, fusion cores, just everything you want. But when you first come here, make sure you have a sniper rifle with the scope, because you want to snipe these guys from a distance. They do have shotguns, and they will kill you instantly. But, uh, yeah, usually they don't react, and sometimes they do react, but it's not a big deal as long as you got that sniper rifle, you can catch them off guard, kill them easily. There's only five Scorched here. But right here, I'm actually higher level, I think I'm level 12, and I'm starting to get these Scorched Warriors who are dropping these very heavily modified shotguns, and I'm thinking that these are giving me better mods when I scrap them. When I was scrapping the lower level shotguns, I wasn't really getting you know that awesome of mods but anyways guys stick around for the end of the video i'm gonna show you guys a lot of cool stuff that i've uncovered in this game but anyways here i am taking out some more warriors i'm trying to farm for these special weapons that i'm finding on them and like i said i believe that they're giving me i might be wrong i don't know we're still in beta phase but there's me scrapping some of these and i'm not really getting that awesome of examples but I did get the silencer unlocked, finally. And I wasn't getting it unlocked before when I was uh, scrapping the unmodified pump action shotguns. This place is great for farming for ammo, like shotgun shells and 308 rounds. Um, you can get unlimited of those, like I said. But all you gotta do is fast travel away and fast travel back and the Scorch will have respawned in front. And they do respawn in the tunnels, but I'm not sure if it's as good as when they just spawn out front but you can go ahead and head in the tunnels there's great loot in there I'll show you at the end of the video but like I said they'll keep dropping weapons for you to scrap and all that but this game isn't without its bugs like I said we're still in the beta phase hopefully this um, video isn't outdated but hopefully I can help you guys right now who are still playing the beta now here's me attacking this Wendigo as you can see he is a total bullet sponge um, I think I used over a hundred rounds trying to kill this thing. It's a level 42 glowing windigo. Very, very dangerous. This thing will one shot kill you. Just get on something high if you ever encounter these. You will in this area. This place is awesome for loot. Awesome high level enemies who can't reach you. All you gotta do is climb up on high stuff and just shoot down on them. They're such punk bitches. But yeah, I got really excited. I found another 10 millimeter submachine gun, which is an awesome weapon. I found it level 25. It does 24 damage, and it's not as modified as the one I'm currently using, so I'm gonna have to choose which one I wanna break down. Probably my level 10. That's all I've got to tell you about the pump action shotgun, but I wanna tell you about all that awesome loot that you can find around Big Ben Tunnel East. But here's a Scorched Officer, and you can find those new codes on these guys, and they're all around this spot. I don't know why that is, but I have my suspicions. Now, when you go into the tunnel itself, what you want to do is sneak and use your sniper rifle, and these Scorched, they usually just keep standing there like statues, and they don't react at all. Um, sometimes they do, like I said, but they're no problem because you have a sniper rifle and they'll just charge at you, and if they have shotguns, they're gonna be shooting at you from a mile away. It doesn't matter, but this is how you get all the ammo for your sniper rifle, uh, 308 ammo, and you get your shotgun shells. I had like 300, 308 rounds, and I've had uh, 200 shotgun shell rounds, and that's just after a couple hours of farming. We weren't really actually trying to farm. We were just coming back here um, because I set up my camp nearby. But when you come to this big open area, now, this is the loot, um, the dungeon loot area, rather. So this is where you're going to find the dungeon chest, but it's behind that locked door, and we need to go down a tunnel. Um, I'll show you how to do that, get the key anyways, but we don't need to get the key. 
first I'm going to show you this is going to another location on the other side of the mountain. Uh, it's probably going to be called Big Ben Tunnel West. But um, I only went there once and I forget the name of it. Now you find more Scorch. That means you find more ammo that you can farm, which is oh. great. It's good for our cause. And I'm actually a higher level now. These guys are actually starting to carry um, assault rifles. Which means this is probably going to be good for farming 556 in the future. But that's for a later video. I'm actually going to be making a more detailed video on this area because there's more to tell you. But um, here's where the locked door is. And we were trying to figure out how to get back there without having to find a key because that just sounded like a nightmare to us. We weren't sure if we were ever going to find it. But we do. I'll show you. But do as I'm doing in this video, and you can go around finding a key and all that crap. Just jump up on that pole there to get over the rail. And up here is where you find that chest, but first I'm going to show you where to find the power armor suit. And it's right here. Keep in mind, when you pick up one of these, um, well, when you actually claim the chassis itself, you can't find power armor for a while. But there's the dungeon loot box, and that's where I found my 10mm SMG which I can't live without now. It gets me through so much crap. But we're going for the key right now, and we're still exploring. We don't know what's in this tunnel. We're trying to, you know, go through this place with the fine tooth comb. But you could probably just charge down the tunnel within like 20 seconds. Find this tractor, you're gonna find this guy sitting in this lounge chair, and he's holding the, the door key. But like I said, you don't actually need that door key. You can just jump up on that stuff, like I said. But actually, no, you do want to grab it. That's right, because of these Scorched guys. They spawn in, and the legendary guy spawned it for us. I'm not saying he will for you, but it happened for us, and you can find a nice legendary weapon. I got a snappy shotgun off this dude. Don't know what the snappy effect does yet, but we'll find out later. Now, for you guys who stuck with me throughout the video, I was trying to put a lot of information in here. And I want to give you a little bonus. Now here's the power armor outside of this location. You find it right in front of the entrance. It may not be there though, it's not always there. But here's a map now. I'm actually working on a video. I'm going to be showing you guys, um, well it's actually going to be a series. I'm going to look for all the power armor. It's basically going to be called all power armor locations in the game. And I'm going to make a series because the video would be super long. There's so much power armor out there. I'm going to show you in the first video, which is me coming out within a week, the first 15 locations that I found. I've actually found a total of 20 so far, but there's the map for you guys. A little bonus for you guys who stuck it out there for me. Now, I hope that this video was informative. I hope it helped. I hope that you now know how to get the pump action shotgun and you go and do that and you go to this location farm some 308 ammo and shells and get all these mods for your pump action shotgun i love this spot that's why i put a camp right outside the location but yeah guys i hope that helped if it did please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of it down in the comments as usual and subscribe for future videos. Like I said, I'm going to be making a series on all the power armor locations. I made a poll in my last video and I asked you guys what would you rather see and you wanted power armor locations. So that video is coming very soon. Thanks guys for watching and as always, I will see you in the next video. He's right here, he's right here.